Hey there, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. So a few weeks ago, I shot a vlog that deserves a follow up. It was called Let's Make History Together. And in it, I described an opportunity that we collectively had here in the Bright Line Eating Movement to help make history. So it went something like this. I had been approached by the Food Revolution Network and the American College of Lifestyle Medicine to help raise money. And the vlog was a shameless pitch for uh, the raising of money to do something in particular, to help create a test bank of questions that would get added to the National Board of Medical Examiners test bank of questions that physicians need to pass in order to get certified as doctors, their medical boards. The process goes something like this. The questions need to get written. And then once um, enough medical schools adopt the questions, they get added to the permanent required repository of questions. And thus, the education of physicians gets shaped because, um, you know, uh, professors in med school are sensitive to the boards that their students have to pass. So the goal here is to um, increase the emphasis of nutrition and lifestyle uh, in medical education. So in the efforts that had happened thus far up to the point of that vlog that I shot, um, about 50,000 of the $250,000 had been raised. So uh, there were 17 experts on standby, uh, ready and waiting um, to write questions. And at $250 a question and a thousand questions, $250,000 were needed. And I shot this vlog and our community responded. You responded. You responded. And in two and a half days, we had raised the additional $200,000. And within moments, just a day or two later, uh, those experts were launched off on their process to write those questions. So I have a couple things I want to say about that. First of all is, uh, well done, Brightline Eating. Well done, you. Well done, us. It is remarkable, remarkable how this community rallies toward a worthwhile effort. Just remarkable. Another thing that I want to say is I have an apology to make. In that vlog, I characterized Western medical education and various subspecialties in Western medicine with a broad brush strokes, monochromatic brush, um, using extreme statements. And several physicians down below the vlog uh, commented on this. I, I apologize down there to them. But enough physicians have written in to me. In particular, I just received a letter with uh, that was signed by 15 different physicians, some who do bright line eating and some who don't, um, who banded together to say, um, we support you in your efforts to raise awareness for this topic. We want to spread information about food addiction and food addiction recovery. And it does no one any good when um, extreme statements are made and um, the nuance that exists isn't recognized. So I need to apologize. I am sorry for the way I characterized all of medical education and specific subfields in Western medicine. My statements didn't accurately reflect the nuance that exists. And it's so funny because I've said on this vlog before that nuance is my favorite word. And, um, and I also know about myself that I am prone to exaggeration and hyperbole and really strong forceful statements. So I want to apologize to the physicians that I offended and to the, um, uh, lack of care that I used in describing the state of medical education and the perspectives 
of various physicians. So I apologize. I want to take a moment in this vlog also to let you know where things stand right now moving forward because it's pretty exciting. Uh, thanks in large part to our efforts here and also to the efforts of so many others in the American College of Lifestyle Medicine and the American Board of Lifestyle Medicine and the International Board of Lifestyle Medicine. Experts are now launched writing questions and I also am happy to report that a hundred of those questions will be on the topic of food addiction. And that's just frankly super exciting. I think that um, awareness of what for many is at the root of a lack of follow through when we're sitting here aware that we should be eating blueberries and not donuts and broccoli and not bagels and <laughs> we know, we know, and yet we're not, right? We're not, we can't. The issue is an execution over the long term. I am so excited that an awareness of the reality of food addiction and the neurobiology of it and the psychology of it is going to be in this test bank that come summer will be offered to medical schools in the United States and around the world. And we, we, our community, can feel so very proud about that. Well done us. So I don't often uh, shoot a vlog to follow up on something I said in a previous vlog. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I ever have before, but this one deserved it. We did something remarkable a few weeks ago. And in just two and a half days, we rallied. I love you so much. <sighs> and we are changing the face of history together. I'll see you next week.